I have started the insulation. I was up all night pre-cutting this, um, it's called Ultra Touch. It's a radiant barrier. It has the foil on one side, very slim with the denim on the other. Um, supposed to be better for sound deadening and um, mold resistant, flame resistant. And what I'm doing is I'm putting one layer against the van wall and then I am taking the panels that came with the van and I'm putting another layer on the interior side of that. So that means that I will have foil facing foil with an airspace in between. And from what I read, that's how you get a radiant barrier. Now, as far as what I used for tools today, um, I'll tell you right now, I was paranoid about the 3M high strength spray adhesive <laughs> to the point where I wore a face mask and swim goggles and rubber gloves and my hoodie. <laughs> and that's why you don't see that on a video. <laughs> it looked pretty bad. Also, I bought instead of the little metal tool to do this rolly thing, I just went to the dollar store and bought a cheap paint one for like 99 cents. And that way I can, and didn't even take the plastic off, so I can use that for painting another time. But it did the same thing that metal thing would do. Oh, and another thing Nashua tape foil with the stinking paper you have to peel off in the back. Well, I guess it's made to stick to foil okay. Because that it does do. But it really sucks for sticking to anything else. It was good to keep them in place while I was cutting and getting ready to glue. But it's, uh, I got two rolls of that stuff and I'm not crazy about it. And I actually have some help coming over this morning to finally help me get the insulation up on the ceiling of the van. So right now I'm out here a couple hours earlier. I'm going to clear out as much stuff as I can, take the sink cabinet out, take the mattresses out, cover up the desk, because we're going to be using spray adhesive up on the ceiling and I don't want any of that, uh, you know, flaking down onto the, or spraying the overspray onto the stuff and then Okay, so I've got the floor covered up pretty much, the desk covered up, the bed stripped down and covered up, and what I think I'm going to do while I'm waiting for the guys is this thin, skinny stud. I'm going to take some clamps and some Gorilla Glue, and I'm going to take that stud and glue it up high near that electrical thing and that's going to be my anchor board for the white beadboard. I'll wait till the guys are done with the beadboard up but I'm going to go ahead and try to do the studs on both sides. Wish me luck!
and I have decided on using the white beadboard like I had on the top third of my van and I'm it's a little overwhelming I bought one piece which of course is like four by eight there's no way I can hold up a four by eight panel this stuff is heavy so what I did is I had them go ahead and pre-cut um, uh, 37 and I think it was like 37 or 37 and a half inches so I have two big panels and then I have one extra panel which will be okay to go towards the back um, because I think I'm, I'm gonna have some sort of a shelf or a loft back there eventually so you won't see that it's not completely finished for the last however many inches I'll show you first what I'm going to be using for t for um, to put it up I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put insulation the ultra touch radiant barrier on the back of this the blue side glued to the board the silver side will be facing the silver it's already up there and that'll give me the air pocket for the radiant barrier so, and hold on from the driver's seat it'll be one panel on two beam supports and then the next panel with two beam supports and then the third panel which is smaller will only have one beam for support but it'll probably also have that I may have, probably have to take that light down I'm going to charge up my drill while I'm doing the insulation and hopefully get at least one of these panels up today okay I realized I've said that a couple of times that these beadboard panels are really heavy no they're not really heavy this is a smaller one <laughs> but they are heavy when you're trying to awkwardly balance them over your head with one hand while trying to drill with the other if I end up not having anyone to help me hold them up so that's what I meant by real heavy they're actually pretty light considering as far as what they'll add to the weight of the van um, I think they're perfect I guess they're less than a quarter inch but more than an eighth of an inch thick so just wanted to clarify that <laughs> bye Well, it's the end of the day. I didn't get it all done, but let's see how it looks so far. Not too bad. Well, it's early in the morning. The weather's still good, and I have two more pieces of beadboard to put up and I've gone ahead and I made templates for these because they are going to have to fit pretty snugly along the passenger wall um, so I'm getting ready to make one cut here my zigzag line and then I will be able to put this insulation onto this piece and then the second piece is going to be all one. I'm leaving the beam areas, the metal beams, uh, open or with no insulation. So they'll sit nice and straight, hopefully. I'll get these glued down and up pretty soon. Take care. So the last three pieces, oh, excuse me, yeah, last three pieces of beadboard have to go up on the ceiling on the passenger side this is the passenger back corner so one small piece there another big piece there and towards the front the last piece there that does have an angle cut that i already did the ceiling look at it look at my ceiling <laughs> I think I love it. 